Hey everybody, um, I have a fun little project today. I'm just working on just a little accordion folder. Um, super easy, super fun. So, um, for this project, you need six eight and a half by 11 papers. And they can just be single side printed if you want. So, this is a great project if you have a young child that wants to craft along with you or try a journal, because this one comes together super easy. Um, or it's fun to make and give away. So, you also need two pieces of like chipboard or a cereal box or a notebook cover, you know, something to kind of be the, the front cover and the back cover of our album. And these are, um, let me get my ruler real quick. So I tell you exact six inches by four inches for the cover. All right, now I took one eight and a half by 11 page right here and I cut them into two papers. These are like five and a quarter by seven. Doesn't have to be perfect. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cover these two chipboard pieces with them. So I just have this little scrap of paper here to kind of catch all my glue, but I wanna give it a good substantial amount of glue because I am gonna fold it around the edges. So let's just go for this. We're kind of just gonna wrap it just like we would like a present. Except for it's not going to need to cover every square inch because we have another paper that will go on the other side. So it's going to go about like so. And then what you're going to do is carefully kind of bend that in. Give it a nice good crease. And then you miter these edges. So I don't want it to go all the way. We don't have to cut much off. We can just cut like that much off and then fold that in. Let's see what's gonna be my best way to miter. Yeah, if I fold these in first, that'll be good. So let's do that. Let's just trim a hair off each just so we don't have as quite as much bulk and then go ahead and fold that in pressing into those corners really nice. All right, let's do these last two. Get that in there. It doesn't have to be perfect. If you want it perfect, um, you can get perfect miters, but really you're not gonna see this because it's pretty much gonna be covered. All right, I want those Nice and tight. Now, by now, this glue is kind of dry, so I'm just gonna add a little bit extra. All right, let's start with that side. And we're just gonna wrap it just like a present. Who says how I wrap my presents? All right, let's come on over and do the opposite side now. That way you'll have the same ones on top for each level. Does that make sense? That's going to come in and you could get your bone folder and press it down really good, whatever you want. All right, this one comes in. And the last one. All right, there we go. So that'll be our front cover. Just a chipboard piece. Let's go ahead and do the back one. I'm gonna try an experiment. I'm gonna try on this one to not even worry about mitering those edges because it it isn't really bulky at all. So I don't think it'll affect it. So. 
Let's give it a shot and see what we think. I'm just gonna bring each corner in and then I'm just using my fingernails to kind of press down right here to make a really solid crease right there on the edge. There we go. Last one. And the two long ends are gonna go first. I'm starting to stick to my glue paper. Might be time for a new one. And this one. And now we'll do our two short sides. Those will be done. You could do some stitching. I might do that. I think I'll probably have to make this in two videos. One to kind of put it together and then two to probably add some fun embellishments and stuff. But I wanted to at least get started. All right, front cover, back cover, awesome. So let's set those aside and I'm gonna get a new little glue paper. All right, now I have my five other papers and these are just printed on regular paper, single-sided. Um, I trimmed them, let me get a piece of paper. So if it faces this direction, there's my eight and a half by 11, I did several this direction. Um, and I picked five different patterns. You don't have to, you can do whatever you want. So what I did is I trimmed off the edges and then these I cut down to eight and three quarters by, nope, that's not gonna, oh, there we go. By five and three quarters because I kind of wanted the pages to be a little smaller than the journal. So eight and three quarters by five and three quarters, and I've got five pages like that. Three of them I folded in right side together, and these will all be next to each other on one side. The other two are also folded right side together, and these two will be next to each other. So if you care about the patterns, that's how you can control which goes where. All right, so here's how we're gonna glue these together. You are going to take one that's facing down, one that's facing up, and you're just gonna glue half and half. So you can see that I'm just coming to here and coming to there. So I'm only going to that fold. I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down. And then I'm going to stick that on. It's hard to see that halfway line with this light on me. So I'm doing my best, but it probably won't be perfect. But that's okay. That is not even close. Okay, let's try. Let's try a little pencil mark, shall we? I'm just gonna put a tiny pencil mark on the halfway points so I can see it with this light on. There we go. That will work much better. All right. Except for then I didn't quite get the top. That's okay, I can trim it down when I'm done. So, make sure that still bends. Awesome. And this glue sort of dried on me while I was fiddling with it. There we go. All right, so there's one. All right, now we're gonna bring another paper and this one is facing up. It's coming right here. You know, you learn every time every time you make something. And I think next time I would probably just mark the halfway points and then put them together and then fold it at the end. I think that might be easier, but that one worked really good. All right, so there's the second one. And I'm gonna go ahead and fold, make sure everything's nice and lined up. 
as I'm going along. All right, so now we have this one. So here's our other one, and this one is coming to be facing down. Did I get that lined up? There we go. All right. I hope you can see what I'm doing with that paper behind me. I just didn't want to get a bunch of glue on my table right now. <laughs> I'm just gluing it. Nothing too secret there. And then I'm going to line this up and continue in that pattern. There we go. And we have one more. Last one. You can make it longer if you want more pages in your little accordion book. That is fine. All right. And there's a little stickiness here and there, but that's okay. All right. So this is what we have so far. This side, and I'll flip it over this side. Okay. And it just folds up just exactly like a little accordion. And these two are going to be glued to the covers. But first I'm gonna trim. I just want these to be a little more perfect. Not too perfect, just a little. And there we go. Let's see if I got that pretty good. Awesome. Okay, so you can see why this is a great project for a young one. It's because it's all gluing. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Normally I try to ink before my videos, but I couldn't because I was gluing these. So bear with me while I quickly ink my cute little pages, especially on these creases. Probably I would normally go ahead and just sew around each page, just a little rectangle, but I'm not going to worry about this right now. I think I will. Yeah, I think I could still probably do it even after I put the covers on so maybe I'll do that off camera and then we'll have it ready for when I come back that could be fun I don't know if you're like me like the sewing just adds such an awesome little touch there at the end and I kind of like the process it's kind of relaxing if you just let it be kind of a fun one all right let's get And we'll just do a little here. I probably don't need to be doing all this right now. You know me, I like to have everything prepped so you guys don't have to watch this part, but maybe sometimes it's nice to see it, hopefully. <laughs> all right, we will call that good enough. All right, next step. We are going to so one of the or er, glue one of these covers on. Now because this is chipboard, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Fabri Tac. Just because it needs to be a little more solid. But I don't want to go too heavy because this is just paper. This isn't like it's a cardstock. So it's pretty lightweight. So I'm just gonna give it a little a little run over. <laughs> And then I'm going to go ahead and set that down. There we go. You don't want that hanging on the edge. Ooh, this is going to be so cute, you guys. I think I did it backward. Let's see if I did it. Oh no, we're good. We're good. Here we go. All right. And now. We just have to glue the back piece on. If you wanted at this stage, you could put a ribbon in between 
Does that make sense? Put a ribbon in between here so that you have a ribbon coming out. But for this, I kind of just wanted to wrap a ribbon around it and tie it, keep it really simple. But if you wanted, this would be the place where you could put, let's see if I have a little scrap of lace to show you. Oh, here we go. Here's a little bit of sari silk. So you could glue the little piece in here and then you could do that on both sides and then you'd have a little tie to just tie that together on both sides. So there's an option, just something to think about. All right, last one. Oh wait, I'm doing this one. Sorry. I wanna get around those edges, but just not too heavy. There we go. All right. I'm just gonna line that up with the back, the front piece, so now they're just lined up. All right. So there you have it. Just like that, you have just a very simple accordion album and it will open and be pretty on both sides. This back side's pretty little just cause there's not, we didn't add a ton of pages to it. So you could add more if you wanted. And I need to come in and glue that one a little more. I'll do that right now. Oh, it just probably hasn't dried yet. All right, now with the little scraps from the pages that I cut in half, I have just cut them and made some little journaling spots and some pockets. So I'm gonna show you how that works. I'm not gonna glue it down because I think I might wanna come in and sew around these. I think it would be fun. I probably will. So I'll just show you generally how it works. I just wanted it to be something that would be fun to instruct a group on and you could use all of the pieces. So I just took scraps from some of these pages and I made, these are just some corner pockets, just using the scraps. Um, these are just some straight pockets. We can ink them. Um, we could do some fancy punches at the top, add some lace and some words to be really cute. Um, and then on these ones, I just folded, I took a scrap and folded it in half. So it will be one that you can just flip up or flip down either way. So those are what is going to go onto all of these pages and we'll add some tags and some lace and some fun, cute things like that. So it will be all embellished and beautiful and ready to go but we will stop there and then go ahead and finish a little bit later and i'll let this glue dry so thank you for watching we'll see what that looks like when it's done bye